Today we are going to talk about fair value gaps and how you can spot them. So the first thing you want to do is finding two wicks and a body. If there is a gap between those two wicks it's a fair value gap. It's not every fair value gap that works, so I'm going to give you an example of which work. First you are going to find the midpoint of a large range where there is a high and a low. The 0.5 range is to determine the premium and the discount. So now you want to look for a fair value gap in the discount. And there you have the fair value gap you want to use. Now let's see how price reacts to it. We end up taking out liquidity. There is also something called the consequent encouragement of a fair value gap. That is basically the midpoint of the fair value gap range, or the 0.5 range. Now let's see how price reacts to that. We end up taking out liquidity. When there is a body that closes below a fair value gap, it doesn't T work anymore. Then it becomes an inversion fair value gap. An inversion fair value gap is almost the same as a normal fair value gap, but it's just the opposite. So now we will see how the price reacts to this inversion in fair value gap. We end up taking out liquidity.